Hello anyone not still living in the 1970s. We interrupt your day to bring you this announcement. Husker Ninja is in the building. Alright guys, we are here today with episode number 9 of the Northern Colorado Bears Legacy here on College Hoops 2K8. And today it's time for the rematch against Sacramento State. This time we're on the road. If you remember, we played them to overtime in our first game. And real quick before this game starts, I want to uh, give a quick shout out to my guy Kaz Cray over at Craniac Gaming. He's got a Sacramento State Legacy going on of his own and I will put the link to his channel and also the Sacramento State playlist in the subscri or in the description and so be sure to check him out but here uh, we've already got a 7-0 lead early like two minutes into the game on Sacramento State but right there they'll hit a big three it's a four point game Sacramento State comes in with a 7-10 and record by the way we are 14-6 and and really, our goal is just to have a shot to get into the conference tournament and win it and make the NCAA tournament. That's been our goal for season one, especially since Vitus Terrell, who will get the bucket and the foul right there, and Hendrick Lawrence are our two best players, and they're both seniors. So we might want to try and win this conference tournament. Right there, we'll get a steal. We're up by three. Salazar going to lay that one in, make it a five-point game. It's now 12-9. to nine. So it's back down to a three-point game. And Samson is just not going to pass the ball when he gets into trouble, I guess. It's a jump ball. And right there, there's a turnover. We're already down 12 to 13. And make that 12 to 15 as we've had back-to-back -back turnovers right there. And now there's a trap. And now Salazar is not going to pass it. We're trying to hold it to pass the ball, and he's not passing it. He just he just rather stand there and let him tie him up. All right, there's Hendrick Lawrence. Pass the ball, Lawrence. And nope, he just he just wants to just hold on to the ball and let him tie him up every time down the court. And just like that, now we're down 21 to 12. Finally, a hook shot. Well, then that was what an 11 to. Zero run, but we'll get the steal on the inbound right there, and it's going to be blocked. Are you kidding me? But Freddie Beatty drew the foul. He made both free throws, and that's a five-point game, but there's going to be a foul on the offensive rebound. Sure, why not? And now we're going to have a free throw of our own. Miss it, but Samson will get the rebound. It's a seven-point game now, 25-18. to 18. Lawrence with the answer right there. It's 27-20. to 20. Now it's 29-20. Easy lay in there for Kane and Lawrence. Oh, he finally is actually going to pass it. I thought he was going to let himself get tied up again. But nope, instead, he finally passes it. They would hit the shot, and we're down by 11 at halftime. We're shooting 60% from the field, but we got six turnovers because we keep letting ourselves get into t jump balls. We let ourselves get into tie balls, jump ball, and I'm like, why? And there's a dunk right there. That three is no good. Hendrick Lawrence, the offensive rebound. He'll lay that one in. It's a nine-point game. Well, now it's a 13-point game. And Salazar already going to throw it. Terrell wide open. He's got the three. It's a 10-point ball game. Now it's an 11-point game. And there's an easy dunk right there for Sacramento State. And we are getting the break speed off of us right now. Come on, guys. Step it up. And oh look, that's going to be another jump ball. We're just going to let him tie it up every time down the court. Pass the ball. But they didn't pass the ball. And there goes Terrell hitting a three. Great. Now I'm set down by 14. We're down by 11. Well, oh wait, now we're down by 13 because this defense is terrible. And we like getting into jump balls instead of actually passing out of trouble every time they come up to try and pressure us. And we just, these players are just too stupid. They cannot figure out. The pressure, and it is playing mind games with our offense right now. We're down by 13. Freddie Beatty trying to drive it in. Like, how hard is it to just be like, hey, they're going to come in and try and pressure. Kick that out. Pass it. But instead, they just hold on to the ball because it's like they don't want to throw it away. So instead, they'll turn it over via the jump ball. That is... 
That is very frustrating. We have the tie up and it's like, nah, we don't we don't want to throw it away. Oh, we get a turnover of our own right there. Good thing we're already down by 14. Salazar will get the bucket to make it a 12-point game, but we're still down by 14. Terrell will get the bucket right there. And this game has been very frustrating. We've had three straight frustrating games. Two of them have been losses, as I highly doubt we'll see a comeback. And the other one required an epic brain fart, a massive brain fart by Northern Arizona to win that one. So we could be on a three-game losing streak very easily. This team's just got to play better going forward. That shot's blocked by Terrell. He'll get the putback. We're down by 11. And this game is going to be a loss. It'll be our second in three games. Like I said, could easily have been our third straight. But, I mean, this team just got to play better. They just were not prepared for the press once they crossed half court. They were not prepared for the trap or the pressure. And instead of kicking it out to pass it, they just stood there and took the tie-up and the jump ball and the turnover that way instead of passing it. And so this one was very forgettable. Sacramento State handily beats us. I'll do it for me, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day, everybody.